What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday. I freaking hate Mondays. I just want to throw that out there. I've always hated Mondays because it's the beginning of the work week and I can't stand Mondays. And I don't know why I came to work today. I don't. That's why I'm mad in my life. I'm like, you know what? Why did I get up and come to work? I don't have to. Right? But that's, that's just where I am. But anyway, today's video is going to be about the word minority. Minority. And I believe African Americans, African people, black people in general, should stop calling ourselves minorities. We should also stop answering to the, with the, to the title minority. We should get the word minority. We should detach the word minority from us. Because first, it doesn't cate categorically it doesn't fit us. We are not the minority, but we are the majority. <coughs> So we need to start calling ourselves by our proper title as the majority, right? The minorities are the palm colored people. The minorities are everybody else that's not African or Asian. Everybody else is minorities to us. We are the majority, right? And one of the reasons why they like to call us minorities is because it's just another way within the Western lexicon to to downplay us, to take something away from us, to belittle us, to you know take our significance away. But we've been the majority majority this entire time. Now there may have been there there may have been a point in time where you know we were you know we are I mean in America we are not the biggest single group population. You know, there's still more Europeans definition wise than there are black people in, in, in America. But on the planet, there are more black people by far than any European, you know, in most groups of people on the planet. By far, there are more of us than almost everybody. There's even more of us, there's more of us than Chinese people. There are more, even though, you know, they got a billion people, we also got billions of people too. There are more of us than Chinese people. There are more of us than Indian people. We are the largest, we are the largest group of people on the planet. We are, have always been, and will always be the majority. So we need to start calling ourselves the majority. Another thing, African people will take over Europe. It's gonna happen. African people will take over Europe. And I don't know about America because of its location. We could, because we have enough people on this planet to where Africans can just migrate to any country, overwhelm any indigenous population, and still be the majority. We we have enough people to share with the rest of the world. It, it isn't, Here's the funny thing about the immigration, right? What's going on in Europe and America. The political theater has the politicians telling you that they're on your side against immigration and all these illegal immigrants. But the truth of the matter is the NGOs and the politicians behind closed doors know that because the white Western civilization are having a existential population decline, and because when you have a population decline, you don't have enough working age individuals to work within the institutions and apparatuses necessary to keep those first world nations running and operating, to keep the things running and operating. The governments of these European and, and America, you know, they are actively campaigning and seeking for these so-called illegal immigrants to come into the country to fill the jobs necessary that the indigenous population won't do. See, so no matter how many Americans there are, American African Americans are not going back in mass in mass to go uh, cleaning toilets. We're not going back to the farms. We're not going back to the fields. We're not going back to the domestic work. We're not going back to working for the white man in his in his in his mansion. We're not doing that. Now there's some people still, you know, in those fields, but as a mass, we're not doing that, right? As well as white people they're not going out here in these fields and picking nothing 
They ain't do it the first time. They ain't doing it now. They not cleaning ain't nobody. They ain't cleaning nobody's toilet. They not doing any of the small domestic jobs. They're not doing any of that stuff. They're not wanting to do none of that, right? You're not going to get anybody who wants to improve their, any group of people who wants to improve their economic situation to go and do those jobs, right, that don't pay well and is effectively a waste of time and it's slavery because you can't even pay to live. You can't even, with those jobs, you need two or three or four of those jobs. You need three or four people with those two or three of those jobs to even afford a place to live in this country. So the average American is not going to do any of those jobs, which is necessary for the country to run, by the way, which is necessary for all these corporations to operate their businesses so we can go into these nice shiny stores and buy our produce at a reasonable price. We need people to be doing these jobs at a very low rate to keep their overhead down so they don't pass on the, the cost to the customer. But don't worry, don't worry. The robots are coming to replace those illegal immigrants that you guys don't like so much. Because the, the fact of the matter, matter is Europe needs immigration. Europe needs people to work. Europe needs people to take care of all them old folks that's coming online. Same with Asia. They got more old folks that need taken care of than young people who can do the take, taken care of. They, you know, I messed that whole thing up, but you get what I'm saying, right? Same thing in America. So despite what the news tells you, the gas lights, you got all these people, Democrats, Republicans, we don't like immigrants, blah, 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 blah. Corporations don't care about what you think. Corporations don't care how you protest. Because at the end of the day, it's about their bottom line and their shareholders' bottom line. And they're going to keep bringing in these foreigners who are willing to do those sh shitty-ass jobs that we're not willing to do for that shitty-ass pay. Because as far as they're concerned, that shitty-ass pay that they're getting is better than the lack of opportunity in their countries in which the same country, America, makes sure that their countries that they're from don't have any opportunities so that they can come over here and work those little pet, those jobs that the rest of America doesn't want to do and the rest of Europe doesn't want to do. So because of corporations and their greed, more Africans will be coming over here. More Africans will be taking over Europe and eventually everybody's going to be black. That's just what's happening. And it's all because of the corporations and their greed. It's all because of the, 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 the governments and their policies. That's just what's happening. So when I hear people talk about gentrification and things like I'm not worried about gentrification. I'm not worried that Europeans, European governments in America would purposely uh, neglect a whole community of African Americans in order to bring down the value of the area so that Europeans can come in and buy it for pennies on a dollar and then all of a sudden improve it by putting a Starbucks in the Whole Foods and, and all of a sudden they, the, the city can come and clean the streets now. I'm not surprised by that and, and I'm not even, I'm not even, it doesn't do nothing for me because it's not enough of them to gentrify anything. Yeah, come over here and fix up the neighborhood. Eventually, you know, we'll be back and we'll take it over. I'm telling you, every the future belongs to us, all right? And we don't even got to do nothing but keep doing what we're doing. The future belongs to black people. The world will be reabsorbed. We will reabsorb all of these variants that we have created over the last couple hundred thousand years. We created all these variants of humans, and some of them didn't work out. Some of them worked out. You know, but the ones that didn't work out, you know, nature is correcting it, you know, and slowly but surely they'll be re reabsorbed back into the greater body and we won't have to deal with that variant of our offspring anymore. That's like legitimately happened and they know it. And that's why they're doing all the things that they're doing to stop that. Because I can imagine being a variant of human beings and all of a sudden I'm facing my own extinction. Like these people are facing their extinction. We're not facing our extinction, so we don't even have to think about it. It's not some shit we think about, but they think about that every day because they are legitimately facing their own extinction as far as they're concerned, you know, but they'll still be around. They just won't be who they are. They will come back to the fold of black, right? But yeah, we're not, my, we're not minorities. It's disrespectful to call the majority, the group that's always been the majority, a minority in any sense of the word. We're definitely not the minority of anything. So yeah. We are the majority, and that's how we should carry ourselves. The majority. We may not be in charge, but we are still the majority. And it's up to us to decide whether we want to be in charge. It's up to us to decide whether we want to become smart enough, whether we want to 
utilize the tactics that it takes and get over some of the moral barriers that we have that stops us from taking advantage of the leverage that we do have on this planet in order to take over you know because we're so peaceful and nice and kind and that is a problem a lot of the times when it comes to us doing what we can do you know anytime we choose to do it to take power when we want power right so we're really fighting ourselves here because there's really nothing anybody else can do once the African, the black man, the black woman decides that they're going to make a choice and they're going to go ahead and pursue it wholeheartedly. There's nothing anybody else can do, you know. But, yeah, you guys, don't call yourself, don't even answer to minorities. When somebody says minorities and they're, and they're talking about you, disregard that. Disregard that shit because he can't be talking about you. He must be talking about themselves. They're the minority, not us. So, yeah, from now on, black folks. Do not accept the title of minority. You are the majority. If they're not saying majority, they're not talking about you. Okay? Anyway, tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. This is Afro Think Tank. Learn something, teach something. I'm out.